Magic is widely considered to be overpowered in Dark Souls 3, but would you still be OP if you were only allowed to use sorceries? No weapons, shields or maidens, so can you beat Dark Souls 3 with only sorceries? I chose the sorcerer class because of its high intelligence and attunement stats and you already know intelligence is the only thing I'm leveling for a while and because I'm really smart. Honestly, she has to be one of the hottest green people. Only behind like Fiona from Shrek, and Yoda and Mike Wazowski. I saw my damage against these poor hollows and got a great idea. Why not just fight an extremely magic resistant creature? It went great. Afterwards I stabbed this cute fella, which he didn't appreciate very much. So I tried again and this has to be one of the hardest bosses, not just in Dark Souls 3, but the entire Souls French. I'm just kidding, this guy fucking sucks. 1 out of 10 on the difficulty scale. Then I killed this weep for his drip and he really did not want to dodge my soul arrows. Maybe he was just like depressed or something and wanted to die. But remember buddy, you're not alone. We all want to die. Just kidding, I make Dark Souls challenge videos. Obviously I'm mentally sane and normal. So anyways, I tried kicking this guy to his death but accidentally backstabbed him because I'm a stupid bitch. Ron failed, clearly that wasn't a sorcery. Then I went to visit my waifu. Andre, look at those huge muscles man, I just wanna suck on his toes a little. Oh and I also found this blind woman who let me level my intelligence, so she's pretty cool I guess. I took a couple wrong turns and found this funny looking creature and got sent straight to the shadow realm. Fuck around and find out as they say. I walked here from Aster Shard, carefully killed off the enemies and got it first second try. And also you might be wondering why I picked the gold coins as my starter items. I usually go here and get the undead hunter charms, then visit my good friend, chuck some at him and most of the time I get this. Now there's an extra reason why I try and get this. It looks cool. And also it gives like more swords or something, I don't know. Afterwards I went ahead and freed my boy. He ain't do nothing. Only some religious abuse, drug trafficking, child trafficking, cannibalism, manslaughter, kidnapping, arson, animal cruelty, played Genshin Impact, terrorism, torture, murder and a bit of genocide as well. Then I found this funny looking dog and my damage was kinda mid also I suck and I did die once but I got him on my second try and it wasn't even close. 4 out of 10 for the difficulty and he usually is more of a 2. Also I'm really glad I got I mean I got the head from the mimic so I got 5000 souls from Vort. I did some good old animal abuse and found the guy more depressed than me. Grant me death. Undo my you and me buddy. I told him there are some firekeeper feet picks in firelink shrine and the horny bastard did not waste a second. Then I leveled my intelligence a bit which is pretty ironic because only leveling intelligence and nothing else like you know vigor is as stupid as it gets. Get invaded by lean CEO and it seems lean makes you dumb as rocks. This dude did not even try and live. Maybe all NPCs are just depressed. I killed this outrider knight in a totally fair and normal way, which Michael Zaki clearly did not like. I visited this tree and honestly I have never struggled against this boss this much ever. It's basically a free aim nightmare most of the time. The only time I can lock on is if I want to blow his main balls up. Here I actually almost killed him, had a mental breakdown and decided to be a pussy and come back here later. I absolutely beat the shit out of this woman, Chris Brown would be proud. Found this magic guy and I promised I wouldn't touch his cross while he was away. I bought some better magic spells from him that I forgot to put on for a while. Oops. Entered everybody's favorite type of area in Souls games. Questionably put my hand in fire, got murdered, then I got murdered a few more times. Kid this demon for 25,000 souls, I spent it all on intelligence you already know, got murdered and oh boy. Here comes one of the hardest bosses for this challenge. Usually this is one of the easiest bosses because she's literally weak to like everything except magic. So my damage wasn't great and after dying to her about 10 times I decided I'd try an easier boss, the Abyss Watchers. Now the first phase was actually crazy easy, I just stayed back and did some sorcerer stuff but the second phase did not go quite so well. 
So I came back and honestly it's kind of funny how much easier this boss is compared to the Crystal Sage with only sorceries but I guess that makes sense. I ran past some skeletons because they are too spooky for me, got murdered by some skeletons, so I went to snitch on them but their dead did not really like me. So I decided to kill him on my second, third try. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. After that hard boss fight I decided to take a nap here and then I tried fighting the old demon king and this might have been one of the easiest boss fights so far. Old man did not put up a fight and I appreciate that. I got a bit of confidence from the last fight so I took on the tree boy again and it was pretty easy this time with the soul great sword. The soul arrow 3m nightmare is finally over. I used the source from him to upgrade my intelligence to 50 while having less than 400 health. Great idea past me. Great idea. Afterwards I went back to the crystal sage who beat my ass a couple of times. At least this time I didn't have to pay for it I guess. Usually I do. And this is about as close as a fight can get but I managed to beat her on my like 20th try. 8 out of 10 on the difficulty scale. Which is an outrageous rating for this boss. I found this old man, I got kidnapped by the old man, he sent my ass straight to Dark Souls 2 which is just cruel and unusual punishment. But actually I was working on this Dark Souls 2 video and uh, put about 25 hours in the character and I reinstalled Windows and Dark Souls 2 does not have cloud saves. So I lost a character, so I decided to decorate my walls with some nice holes in them. Then I got stabbed on, again something could usually pay for, but this time I died so it wasn't great. To proceed to Aethil I had to kill the deacon of the deep and this boss fight wasn't much harder than usual. I used Pestilent Mist and the Sword Greatsword and they did not stand a chance. 2 out of 10. At least I got myself some cool new drip. Pontiff time. He was honestly really easy with sorcery and I killed him on my foot. Never mind, he just one shot me. And again. A couple tries later I kept my composure and did not panic at all and Pontiff was down. 6 out of 10. I leveled my intelligence to 59, only 1 off from the hard cap, I think. And my spell buff is 215 now. Then I killed these wretches in a completely fair and normal way, visited New York, killed Logan Paul for his scroll to get some cool new magic, killed this mimic in a completely fair and normal way to get the best staff available in the game without buffing. Found this cool ring that increases my magic damage by 20% and I decided to try it out on Yorm. Yeah it's pretty good. I mean I did about 4000 damage with the great heavy soul arrow to his head. Funnily enough I was most scared of this boss and I thought this would take ages but this was one of the easiest bosses so far. 2 out of 10. I leveled my intelligence to the hard cap and this is where I started putting points into other stats. Mostly attunement and vigor. Then I visited Aenor Londo to see my favorite fanboy. Let me tell you I have no never been dominated by a fanboy like this. He just kept destroying my ass. <laughs> about, 20 <laughs> about 20 minutes later something crazy happened. I died. The worst part was the arrows that follow you around the arena. I could stand here though to not get hit by the arrows but then I just died to sorceries usually. The pain and suffering could have all been avoided if I just leveled up my vigor to 27 the soft cap to have a thousand health but I had to make it harder on myself with my dumbass rules. About an hour of wanting to kill myself later I got lucky and he really likes standing in my pestilent mist which has to be one of my favorite sorceries honestly. Like I used it to cheese so many bosses but hey hit the game not the player he might have just been the hardest boss so far so he gets the 10 out of 10 he just gave me severe brain damage after that I said fuck it and leveled my vigor to have more health because I did not want to get dominated like that again. Not that I didn't enjoy it. After all this domination going on Miyazaki said fuck it and teleported me to a submissive thick ass lady and I'm not complaining. Now it might have not seemed like it but I did beat her on my first try Chris Brown style. Yeah I did almost die but this was unexpectedly easy. I just did too much damage. 2 out of 10. I then spent my money on this cool hat. It's awesome. At least I think, I don't know, I never used it. Also my health bar seems longer. And god damn, look at that damage, over a thousand. If anyone cares, my setup is the Sage Ring for faster cast speed, the Young Dragon Ring, 12% damage boost to sorceries, the Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring, 20% boost to the sorceries, and the Magic Clutch Ring, 15% boost to my magic damage. Then I beat this fat ass in a completely fair and normal way. Got my revenge on this outrider knight who has been terrorizing me for months, collected some titanite chunks in a completely fair and normal way 
and upgraded my staff to plus 9. Then I visited the Dragon Slayer armor, who I just deleted with my sorceries basically. Honestly, it feels like I scammed Miyazaki for 120k souls, which might have some consequences. I dipped my head in some sticky white stuff, no idea what it could have been, but it tasted really salty. Then I did a sick 180 no scope on my arch nemesis and got the best crawl in the game, allowing me to buy the best sorcerer in the game, the Crystal Soul Spear. And um, here comes one of the bosses I struggle against hard enough already, but this time I only have sorceries. And the brother backpack is really resistant to it, so surely this is going to be fun and enjoyable. Phase 1 was actually easy, it took me about 25.42 seconds, but the second phase was the problem. Lothric's constant magic and the creeper's fire sword is a tough combination. Also I was heading back to die against them a few more times, but the elevator went down instead of up. And I got this titan ice lab and upgraded my staff to plus 10, which I forgot to record because I'm a dumb bitch. Yep, that's me. This was really fun too because I ran out of focus points and had no way to deal damage so I was just dead. And turns out if you don't move after entering his arena he won't teleport to you so I could just delay him before he had a chance to touch me. Kinda like my uncle. The second phase still sucked ass though. I was doing no damage to the brother and I did not wanna fully cheese this boss. Also I don't really know how to cheese phase 2 exactly. So pestil and miss time it is. Which is pretty good against both of them. So after a few attempts I finished off the brothers and got a cool 170,000 swords all in a day's work. 9 out of 10. Fuck these guys. Oh, then I obviously killed the Cyrus on my foot. I mean, second attempt. He might be resistant to magic, but he isn't resistant to dying. Haha, <laughs> I should have told that guy. 3 out of 10. Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck are you doing here? Then I found this cool emote, but I wish it was the default Fortnite dance. And, uh, I guess I'm fighting Gandhi again. Really difficult boss. Took me about, um, one try. 2 out of 10. I sat here for a bit, got teleported straight to Counter Strike Global Offensive. Okay, love you back. The fuck is this Looney Tunes shit? He hide. <laughs> How are he doing? <laughs> Please, I'll do whatever you want, Miyazaki, just never again. Also, I killed this wyvern completely normally and rang this funny looking bell, destroying everything around me. Oh boy. Now the king of this storm might have literally been the easiest boss so far. There is another phase. Fortunately he just kinda edgewalks to you and does some pretty easily dodge range attacks. So the nameless king was mega easy. Pretty unexpected but I guess my damage is just too good now. 3 out of 10. With that done there is only one boss left of the main game. The soul of cinder. And this might be a bit anticlimactic but it was really easy. Because I guess my sources are just too good. Rest in peace. So thank you guys for what? Did you really think I was done? There's still 3 minutes and 15 seconds left to the video. Chill. Obviously, I'm doing the DLCs. After a warm rack after the first DLC, don't ask about the armor. I found this boss and it was so fun and not annoying and stressful at all. The grave tender definitely did not dodge like 60% of my sorceries. Fortunately, he doesn't have that much health, so he dead. The great wolf might look scary, but he does not stand a chance against my overpowered sorceries. Next up on my hit list is Sister Frida. First phase, easy peasy, my dad left me squeezy. The second phase is basically just a Avoid Frida and bless her dead with sorcery is no problems. Lastly the third phase is realizing how many heals you've already used up and you won't have enough and you're dead. But luckily this cute fella showed up and he fucks. He makes the fight a lot easier, still not very easy though. Man, I'm gonna... I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear! I however have no life, extreme patience, a friend named Gale, autism and OCD, there is oversized cock disorder and I just kept trying and eventually got it. 8 out of 10. That's the first DSU down. One more to go. The first boss of the second DS is the Demon Prince. And maybe I shouldn't have summoned Gale here. Kinda overkill, but it distracted the demon in pain as I was killing the demon from below first, like the stupid bitch that I am. Obviously, you're supposed to kill the pain one first, so the second phase is easier. Slap me silly and call me Richard, but summoning Gale here isn't that unfair. It makes it a 2v2 fight. Plus, I got the second phase. 
Cool but hey, I'll take the 180k souls any day. 6 out of 10. Also, my build is now 60 intelligence, 44 attunement, and 27 vigor if anyone cares. Anyways, I delivered some justice to this big fella and then got an online player as a boss, which was uh, definitely questionable. Then I tried again and got half light, thankfully, which made it a lot easier. 3 out of 10. Now, there are only two bosses left. One of them is Midir. Oh god, oh fuck. I died a couple times, some more times, but this one was probably the worst but at least i knew i could kill him with my pastel and mist so a few tries later i got him also hey 270 000 souls nice hey that a team Hopefully I don't just put all my points into attunement, okay and I just did, okay. And I knew Gale was weak to frostbite so I went out of my way to get this pack called snap freeze. I thought it would be the ultimate key to just delete Mr. Gale but it does like 300 damage per every 2 cast and some mage my head. Now thankfully just kinda edge box to you most of the time if you're using ranged attacks which makes the fight about 10 times easier and this is how I got most of my damage in. This made the fight easier and I killed him on my second, just kidding guy fucking suck. About 94 minutes of extreme edging later, I decided to kill Gale. I said fuck it, this man's gotta go. And that's how I beat Dark Souls 3 with only sorceries. Is it hard? No, not really, but it's a fun challenge. And this is my first video on the channel, so if you guys liked it, make sure to stay fast and eat ass. I say this video was kinda cringe, um, I make sure to make the next one more cringe. I peace.